And she goes, I knew you had a BBC. Look, y'all, this is a quick story time of this girl who literally, she scammed on me. So, boom. There was this girl, right, that I was talking to, but I wasn't talking to. You know how, like, there'll be, a, like, somebody, it's like, y'all entertaining each other, but y'all not serious, because you don't want no serious baggage and nothing like that at the time. So, it was a little something like that. Every two days, bro, we would go to the park after school, feel me? We would sit and talk, and, bro, she would just sit on my lap, like, I, oh, God, I was not trying to f*** this girl and nothing like that, but she would just randomly sit on my lap, and it's like, shit, baby, I'm not finna tell you to get off, because, like, all right, we, we young having fun you feel me so but she would sit on my lap goddamn and i'm just feeling it you know what i'm saying but i'm not trying to do nothing serious so i'm not really ever initiating nothing so she can't say it. i tried to push up on her but it got to the point where she would just start like kissing on me bro like she would just start kissing up on me rubbing up on me so i start you know what i'm saying feeling on her trying to play with them you know what i'm saying so what happened was boom we get to talking or whatever feel me I'm chilling. I'm vibing with her. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm not trying to be not serious. So I'm always telling her this every time we link up. But here's what happened the last time we linked, bro. Bro, she was like kissing my ears, bro. She literally licked my ears. I never had a girl lick my ears. I never had a girl lick my ears. Oh, God. She licked my earlobes, my butt. She licked my earlobes. Do you know what it's, Do you know what that feels like? To get your earlobes licked, my nigga? That is literally like, that's heaven, bro. That's heaven. That's a, it's like a new feeling, bro. It's like getting like good toilet paper for the first time. You just, so she licked my ears and I'm like, oh, she, I'm fucking this bitch. Yeah, she's catching this. She has to, she has to catch Cause like at that point, at that point, you have to catch these. So she, she got dang, she keep trying to grab my meat, bro. She, she keep trying to like, like, feel on my meat now i don't know if girls like to feel on dudes meat just to like see how big a nigga is or whatever but she she grabs my meat she literally like keep she keeps grabbing my meat and i'm like bro why is this trying to grab why does she keep trying to grab my meat so i'm like if she gonna grab my meat i'm gonna grab her. you feel me so i keep trying to grab her she she keep like moving off me but i'm like the double stand like <sighs> The double standards is crazy. How are you going to sit here and grab my meat, but I can't grab your coochie? Like, come on now. So, anyways, and eventually I'm like, shit, what's up? Because you keep grabbing my meat. I'm trying to fuck that. At this point, I didn't even come here trying to fuck, but I'm trying to. She like, I want to see that dick. And I'm like, what? She must want to. You know what I'm saying? Because mind you, I did not have no protection on me. And I don't shoot guns without protection. That's insane. I'm not trying to have a little kid walking around at an age like this. He keeps trying to grab my meat. I'm like, all right, bet. We can go over to this little. They had this little cut in a little forest. I'm like, we can go to this little cut by this little forest. Go over there and get busy. So we go over to the little cut by the forest. Bro, my, my, my dick hard as a rock. I cannot lie to y'all, boys. I'm hard as a rock. I'm rocked. I'm rocked. I'm rocked. Because, like, I, I'm on go. I'm ready to go, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's no more talking. There's no more games to be said. She's sitting here smiling and laughing. My nigga, what is you smiling and laughing for? What is funny? My dick is hard. Why are you laughing? What is funny? You feel me? So, anyway, she's smiling and laughing. Because, like, you know, girls, like, that's what girls do. Like, they'll literally do something to get your dick hard and then laugh. When your dick hard, I don't get it. Like, like, bro, like, what is wrong with, what is wrong with, girl? I don't know what's wrong with females. They're crazy as fuck. So check me out though. She keep looking at me, bro. She keep looking down at my dick. We having a staring competition. My dick and her having a staring competition. Eventually, she grabbed the, the the waist of my pants, which she kept trying to do earlier. She kept grabbing the waist of my pants, trying to like put her hand on my bare meat. And so I'm like, bet. So why she grabbing? Why she grabbing my pants? Pulling pulling my pants to like grab my dick. I, I grab her shit and I, I I slip my hand in her pants, right? Tell me why she grabbed my pants. She looks at my dick, bro. She looks at my dick like bare. At this point, my pants is like these. Feel me? My pants is like these, so she can see my dick, bro. She looking dead at it, 
hard as shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's hard as shit. Like I'm, I'm ready to go. It's like at this point, my nigga, I'll walk all the way to Egypt and back. I'm ready to, I'm ready to get, get, get busy. She looks at my dick, bro. Looks down, and then just let's go. And she goes. I knew you had a BBC. We what? And mind you, mind you, mind you. This is a black sister, might I add. She was black. She was black, not white. White people say something like that. What black person? What black girl do you know that says BBC? What? What? I've never met a black girl that says BBC. She said, "I knew you had a BBC." What? And it's like, okay, maybe some of you niggas are thinking, why are you complaining? That's like a compliment. But she didn't do anything after that. She just left. She said, I knew you had a BBC. She looked at her phone and said, hey, go, my mom just called me. Bruh, I did not hear no vibration, no drrr, no nothing. But she just left. She said, all right, we have to go, bruh. She said, we have to go, bruh. We have to go. What? What do you mean? You just like, you, she, she, bruh, she pulled out my dick. Looked at it, touched it a little bit. They was like, "We have to go." I'm like, "Wait, wait, wait, wait. hold up, hold up." So I'm in my head. I'm thinking, "So you're not going? You you see? I'm I'm rocked. I'm rocked. I'm, you see? You see? But it's hard. You see what's going on in my pants? And you mean to tell me? <sighs> you mean to tell me? You see? You see what's going on? And you decide to just leave." Really, my nigga? Are you serious? Why would you? Why would you? Why would you do something like that to me? Why? Why would you do? Why would you do something like that to a nigga like me? Like, bro. She literally. She she literally just left, bro. She left. <sighs> she left, bro. She left. She left, bro. And she pulled it out and left, bro. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ever since that day, cause I don't like, I don't like when females waste my time. Ever since that day, ever since that day, ever since that day, I'm getting mad just talking about that shit right now. I ain't gonna lie. Ever since that day, I just didn't fuck with her the same. Cause like, how you gonna waste my time? You literally wasted my time, and it's like. You know what I'm saying? She would text me sometimes, and I just wouldn't respond. Cause like, why would you do something like? Why would you do something like that to the kid? Like, why? 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 Why would you do something like that to me? So I just, I don't like when people play with my emotions, my feelings, and my time, especially not my time, cause that's something you cannot get back is time, y'all boys. So you know what I'm saying? Eventually, block. She unadded me off Instagram. You know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying. She just like now every time I see her, she just don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying. But it's like my nigga, look what you did to me. Like you didn't even. So you feel me? So yeah, bro. You know that's the story. Like more of the story. Well, if I had to give you more of the story, one I would say, don't waste people's time. Like if we're being honest, I honestly shouldn't have even been entertaining that situation because I knew. I already knew, even though I told her that I didn't want a relationship, I already, like, it's obvious that when you mess with a girl, like, nine times out of ten, they want something more than just physical sex or anything like that. They genuinely want a connection in it. I knew deep down I wasn't looking for nothing like that, and I know that comes to the territory that most girls want a relationship anyways or some sort of attachment. So that was wrong of me to even entertain something like that, knowing I wasn't fully in it. So I say more of the story is, like, don't don't go half-hearted into things because when they mess up they're gonna affect you as if they were full-hearted you feel me so i said the moral of the story is that like if i had to blame anybody in this situation i honestly would blame myself because i put myself in this situation entertaining something i knew i wasn't taking serious anyways so any repercussions after that is on me so i can't even be mad at her to be honest but i just you know i had to say i'll be quick story time because boy Girls, girls, girls. Now, she could have done something better, too. If she was going to pull out my... She could have... How? How? How are you going to do something like that? But now, nah, shout out to her, though. Even though, you know, she don't like me no more. Like, and you know, if you watch this video, you know who you are. Shout out to you, though. You know what I'm saying? No hate to you. All love. 
we all, we we the Virgo gang over here. Feel me? But um, look, I'm Alice the Virgo, bro. If you appreciate it, bit like and subscribe. God dang, I'll see y'all in the next one.